What's up YouTube, my name is Nick Householder. I'm the engineer that builds things. Today I'm gonna to share with you a science demo I built for The Tonight Show. It's laser ignited hydrogen balloons. Really fun, really exciting, and I think you'll enjoy it. Check it out. First off, a balloon full of combustible gas won't ignite just because you pop it with a high power laser. There has to be some kind of open flame for it to start. I needed to find something that I could stick to the outside, which would light on fire first before popping the balloon. So what I did is attached flash paper dyed black with a sharpie to the outside. The dark black allows it to absorb the laser's energy and actually catch fire and then pop the balloon. Flash paper is nitrocellulose, a really highly flammable paper material. Next I had to figure out a way to attach it to the balloon and make it work reliably. After some unsuccessful tests, I figured out that putting the flash paper right up against the balloon didn't work. Basically it got hot and popped the balloon before it actually caught fire. So what I did is I added flash cotton to the back side of the paper and that allowed a little bit of a gap between the paper and the balloon and also allowed for a reliable fireball every time because flash cotton is really flammable. It's just another form of nitrocellulose. Next up, I added the good stuff, hydrogen. Hydrogen is an extremely flammable gas. It's frequently used for science demonstrations like this because of the impact that it has. There's no way to be in a room when one of these things goes off and not be impressed. I had to work through some issues on the design. In some cases, the flash cotton actually just blew itself off the balloon without popping it. So to fix that problem, I added steel wool to the back to create little embers and pop the balloon. But that created a whole new problem because it just started throwing sparks everywhere. So it's definitely something you don't want to do inside of a TV studio. After thinking about it a little bit, I revised my design and I realized I could do everything with just one sheet of flash paper as long as I gave it an air gap between the paper and the balloon. This gives the flash paper enough time to ignite before popping the balloon. After one last full-scale test, there's only one thing left to do. Drive it from Florida to New York City. Once I got there, we had to do a lot of testing and calibration, just to make sure everything worked. So you know what that means, laser fireball montage. It was awesome, and it was really exciting to get to see everybody's reactions to those balloons going off. But you know what? I don't think I'm done with this demo quite yet. You might recognize where I am, and you might recognize this guy. So keep your eyes open for a video with the Backyard Scientist coming soon. You got more of those exploding balloons? Yeah! Whoa. Yes, I do. Oh yeah. If you want to see some more of my videos, you can click here. If you want to see these things in action at The Tonight Show, you can click here. If you like this stuff and you want to see that video coming up with Kevin, consider subscribing. It's a cool shop. I want a shop like this. It's a lathe. I'm a lathe. Do you have a lathe? Lathe is a weird word.